Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Colony Survival amidst the uh, Towers of Terror here, and we're doing pretty good. The defenses are holding up pretty well. We have the zombies split across four entrances, and the distribution is getting a little better. Looks like that one, this entrance straight away, it looks like it's a little quiet compared to these other three. So let's, uh, let's take a look around. I've done some things between episodes, actually dozens of hours of, of work on the castle and the surrounding terrain. It's hard to see here at night, but I've leveled up a lot of terrain. If you remember, when we were first building the castle, we had some mountains right up next to us. Those have been mostly flattened. And then I'm working on um, kind of texturing. Can't hardly see it from here, but working on texturing these hills so they don't look quite as jagged and rough edged. This one, uh, I have a lot of work left to do. Um, that one too, has <laughs> a big old chunk taken out of it. This episode, this episode, what do we want to do? There's a few things. Let's, um, let's get over to the merchant and look at the tech tree too. I think we'll be safe over here. I hear lots of arrows, but I think we're fine. Should be fine. All right, yeah, let's head over here and see what we can do. Let's go into science tree. Where are we? We unlocked some things, I think, last couple episodes that we haven't even done yet, right? Ropes, hemp, um, the jeweler, the compass. We have the, do we have the compass? I think we did try that, did we not? Let's see. Let's pop one on the hot bar here somewhere. Or six. <laughs> we tried the astrolabe. Now what does this do? Is this something we can use? Okay, it's showing me where my colony is and then maybe where the outposts are, right? And since we have no outposts, guessing that's what the compass is for. That's not super useful to us right this minute. I'll put that back in inventory. Uh, astrolabe, that is going to show us where the points of interest are, right? Yeah, heath, mountains, marshes, and the mammoth tree. All of those, I believe, have some kind of special resources. We might want to do outposts. Um, do we have the ability to do an outpost? There's outpost banners. They can be placed to expand the colony both close and further away. Those, I think we... Purchase. Okay, needs 1,500 points and made at the merchant's hub. Merchant's trading. Can I get them here? Okay, zero in the stockpile. Let's buy a couple of these. Now, in between episodes, I've sold off tons of this earthenware and I've done some other upgrades. We'll see that when we go to the colony points section. But I have not bought any banners. Let's get... Uh, let's get at least a couple of those. So we need, what, 3,000 points? Buy one, buy two. And what else? We could buy hemp. We don't need to buy it yet. I did buy a bunch of animal carcasses just to keep our two tanners busy. It's not really important, but we do have two tanners. And then we get a little bit of food out of this too. So we have 1,000 animal carcasses in inventory. And later on, we'll be able to, I think, make those ourselves, the animal carcasses through the tech tree. So what else? Outposts are definitely interesting. A paper production. It requires hemp and hemp fiber. Iron age. Iron age. Major step forward for the colony. Unlocking a new material which requires many items. Oh man. We want the iron age and we want threat banners. That banners require a golden shield. Let's get Iron Age. We need to raise some more colony points. Whoops, wrong keys, wrong keys. Let's sell a bunch of this stuff. In fact, we can sell up to our limit, 25,000. We're close to it, right? Let's unlock Iron Age. That's something we are going to want to work on. In fact, I don't know if I have anybody even mining iron anymore. So let's, uh, let's grab that. That's going to open up all kinds of things. 
caltrops. Unlock a trap that once loaded will slow the monsters below it. Okay, slows the monsters below it. Interesting. The reason I'm pausing is um, I'll show you. I want to put traps over here. Show you where. Right there. Some kind of, I was thinking drop traps. But if we have guards in these arrow slits here and we do a mix of cal traps or whatever and we slow down the zombies, maybe these guys will get a lot more shots. Maybe we, hmm. So that's an option. We can add some traps up there. That's kind of cool. Let's go back to the tech tree and just see what are the other things that this unlocks. Iron Age. We're definitely going to do it. Um, rod iron. Okay. Iron tools. This is going to be upgrade for every worker that uses tools. So this is something we definitely, definitely want. There's no doubt. I'm just wondering if we should be focusing on this like post haste. This guy, the kiln, the needs bronze ingots, right? So we do need an outpost for um for whatever's whatever's needed for the bronze ingots. Oh, bronze ingots. These take. I'm not sure what the bronze takes. I can't remember. Advanced job block crafters, and then it's gonna open up some more stuff. So let's do Iron Age. We may not tap into that right now. Threat banner, I kind of want to do. What do I need for the golden shield? Unlocks the jeweler who creates delicate things. Who does the golden shield? Jeweler. Needs points. Crafting time that. Made it the merchant's hub. Hmm. Let's place a jeweler and see if we can get that golden shield. We'll go down and place it kind of in the crafting area down here. Um, we're not going to need a lot of these. Maybe I'll just slap one down over here. Do we have that person? I'm looking at my job blocks. Is that a special one I have to buy? Writer's water pump. Went to scroll, splitting stump, snow mason stove, tailor, tanner, ropers. We don't have that yet. Battery station, miners, rhinestone furnace. Okay, now I'm confused. Unlocks the jeweler who creates delicate things. Jeweler's bench. Made of the job block crafter's workbench. Okay, we got to go to that guy. I think he's near the stairs. I put this one, I believe, near one of the stairs. And in the middle, I think. If I could find it. We don't need a lot of those job block crafters. I think I have it over here. Oh, I don't see it. thought it was right in this middle stairway. That's where I meant to put it. Um... Yeah, see by middle stairway, we have one there, one there. Those are for the tower, the terror pyramids. Boom and boom. I could have sworn between episodes I put that job block crafter right here. Right next to the center stairway. There it is, right here. Boom. Let's get you making jewelers. That's this guy. Uh, how about high priority? What do you need? Stuff you don't have. Bronze ingots and rope. Oh man. Let's uh let's do that. We have room over here. We'll put rope down and then we'll go buy some stuff for bronze ingots, I guess. This was the rope turner. Oh, the rope turner's gonna need hemp. Oh it's all tied together. Alright, we're gonna do it. We will make it work. My stubbornness will prevail in this situation. Okay. Do you. 
We're going to buy what we need, basically. Rope. Um, what is this made out of? Linen and hemp. We have tons of linen. I'm just going to put that on infinite. Uh, maybe not infinite. How about like a 2,000? We'll head up and buy bronze, I believe. Is that what we needed? Maybe we can get the jeweler thing built. Boom. <clears throat> okay, we need probably tin, right? Looks like we have plenty of zinc. Don't think it's a gold. Let's buy a bunch of that. And buy a little bit of gold while we're here. Buy some hemp for the rope that we're going to need built or made. There, there's 2,000 hemp. That should keep us going for a bit. Copper's starting to decline, unless I've been selling that when I thought I was selling pottery. This was actually getting really high, the copper, into the 20,000s. Now it's down to less than 10, so that's something we're going to have to keep an eye on. All right, let's see. Did we get a jeweler? I'm looking for the little anvil-looking thing. It's not that one. Might be waiting on the rope. Uh, do I have... Yeah, we have workers on the rope. I don't have anybody that's... Any job shortages? We have 10 unemployed workers just waiting for jobs. We should be seeing rope come into inventory here. There's our hemp. It's not getting used yet. There's, where's our linen? Yeah, tons of that. I don't see rope being constructed, right? Are we in the work day? I think people may have gone to bed. Let's head down and see. What's going on? Wake up, fellas. <laughs> I'm trying to get stuff done here. Yeah, we have to wait for the next day. Uh, where did we put that bench? Looking for the rope. That's over here. Yeah, we set the limits pretty, pretty high. But we probably didn't have the hemp before the workday ended, so we'll just wait for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. What else do we have? We have a little alarm bell. Not too interested in that. They upped the quota on our ammunition. Well, it looks like regular arrows are kind of hurting, though. Down to 11,000. It might be because I cranked up the quota on these guys. So let's look at the Fletchers while we're waiting for things to happen. Where might they be? Here they are. <clears throat> I see. I have arrows set down to 10,000 now. Um, these guys are set to 100,000. Let's do arrows at 20,000. It's going to chew through our copper. Let's look at the supplies on that. Copper's not great. It's been smelted, all smelted. We could add a couple copper miners. We have, do we have mining taking place over here? No, I'll have to find our deposits. <clears throat> this looks like this can all be filled in. An old work project or something. Fill this in while we're here. Not with those, but with this. I have diggers digging us deeper, so we have a lot of room to expand. That's not going to be an issue. And we have room up top for farms, too. But right now, I'm just doing this to kill some time so we can get our rope. We can get that golden shield. I really think we need those threat banners before we do an outpost just to be safe. So we draw the threat here where we have all the defenses. I wait for our workers to wake up. Okay, here we have some opportunity to put some copper miners. Let's do it. Make sure we don't run out of that. It's going to be nice moving over to iron. Where is our iron? We have 12,000. I might have somebody doing that. I'm not sure. I may have taken those blocks up. 
All right, let's, these guys can go pretty much anywhere. There's copper, boom, in this area. Although I don't want them standing on top of somebody. We'll get some more copper mined. All right, now let's keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully we will get, I'm not gonna put miners in there. If I can help it, I'm gonna try and keep the mining into the in the crafting rooms. Not the dorms. Like here would be okay. There's a, there's a little iron deposit. Let's do it while we see it. All right, let's take a look at inventory, see if we get that rope. It should be coming pretty darn soon. Yeah, someone chewed away at the hemp. Do we have our jeweler? I set that as high priority. Yeah, the hemp we bought is getting chewed at, so someone's making rope. I don't see the rope. You guys might see it. There's our threat banners we bought. That's all cool. And I'm waiting for that jeweler station to pop up here. Uh, nope. Go take a look. See who's doing what. Everybody's working. What's the matter? No... Linen and hemp fiber. Oh, we have to process. Do we have to process the hemp fiber into something? Looks like it's hemp fiber. What? Let's see. What could that be? The ropers bench only had rope, right? Um. Hmm. Whoops, I just punched that guy by mistake. <laughs> by mistake. Hemp fiber. Where can I see that recipe? Let's see if it's in here. Robes, brass, hemp, paper production, dyeing. Okay, leads. Unlocks cultivation of hemp plants in marshes, as well as purchasing it, and it leads towards processing into ropes and paper. So what is the issue? Hemp, okay, needs linen and hemp fiber. That guy's making rope, and this guy's complaining. It looks, I think that's a complaint, right? I don't have what I need. Take a look. I thought we had tons of linen. Yeah, tons. Don't see... This guy says he's making rope. Still don't see the jeweler's table. Let's wait for this guy to finish his rope cycle. Okay, this guy now seems like he's happy to do it. Oh man, rope is slow. Bronze ingots, hopefully we don't burn through the um, tin we bought. That might be being used for something else. Or the bronze bars might be used for something else. All right, he's done with rope. Does it show up anywhere? There's one rope. <laughs> we have more coming. Slowly. Oh man, is that slow. We have an angry cat behind me. I don't know if you can hear it. She's not happy either. Thinks the rope's too slow. All right, let's see. We're about to get one more rope. And I'm hoping once that is made, it will be used to build the new crafting bench. Oh, I wonder if we, no, we don't need the advanced job block crafter's bench. 
Man, does that slow. Look at the science tree. Yeah, it needs two rope. Five brown ingots. We have everything we need to make the jeweler's bench. As soon as that last little nugget of rope gets uh, made, now we need to wait for our job crafter to build it. Oh man, it's going to take a whole cycle to do this. Okay, we're at the middle stairway. Here's our job crafter. Uh, he's building something else. We want this thing. We have it as the highest priority in his whole list, so he should chew on that one next. But man, is the workday going to end? The workday's going to end before we get it. Oh man, that's that's a bummer. Let's look up at the. Um, let's get a view. And see where we want to put our outpost. I think, I think we might want to go to the mountains first. Go up one more floor. Up out here. Grab our astrolabe. Okay, mountain in the distance, 394. I would think if we put an outpost right there, we'd be fine, but I kind of want an outpost that's a little further away, right? Not right next door. That seems a little boring. There's mountains way off in the distance there. Let's see, what will we need for that? We're going to need... Uh, we can get by with local source materials for our walls and everything, right? We can dig up dirt and everything else. What will we want to take with us? Uh, Cause we're not going to have a lot of inventory space. We definitely want food and I want defense in case I need it. I definitely don't need, well, do I need miners? Might, that's kind of what we want to do. I'm going to need groceries. Torches I can make when we're there. Crates we're going to need. I need a tool bench too. Maybe I can get by without food. Oh, that's risky, huh? I just think once we go out there, we might not have access to the stockpile. We might, we might. Actually, once we put down this banner, maybe we will. Tell you what, let's go with that. I'll post banner. I think it's gonna be another whole day before we get our jeweler. And it basically wanted that so we could make the shield, so we could then unlock threat banners. But we may not need it. In fact, I think we can actually, I think we can actually go for this, even with the zombies. I think we can get right by them. Let's try it for fun. I've been doing some terraforming at night uh, with the zombies. Oh, I have this closed off. Uh, I don't need this closed off anymore. I was doing some work out here. That's why they're not coming through that side. All right, let's grab our crossbow just to be safe till we get out of the immediate area. Kind of want to see. Those mountains in the distance look kind of interesting to me. Just because they're far enough away for us to truly call it an outpost. We could always do something close, or I could probably even expand the main colony to get to these close mountains. But this, I think, is going to be more fun. Ooh, I didn't realize this was water. The shadow of the terrain here made me think there was some sand. All right, let's head to these mountains. We'll see what we can do. There's a heath way far away. I don't think we'll do that. Mammoth tree is also way far away. We might head back to the main colony and see if we can find a heath and a mammoth tree that are closer. But this mountain looks kind of sweet. Uh, it's a lot bigger than the one that was near our colony, our main colony. Oh man, look at that. That's huge. So yeah, I'm not sure how the outposts work. I haven't 
use them yet, but we're about to discover. Man, that mountain looks awesome. I don't know where we put our banner. Do we? <laughs> Is it best to tunnel into the side of the mountain? I'm guessing. We just got to make sure that zombies don't come dropping down from above on top of us. Hmm. What can we do? Do we want to tunnel in here and look for gold? We and uh, is it gold and tin? I think there's some. I think those two are in mountains. Boy, I should have looked it up before we came over here. Probably. Let's start doing a little bit of digging. This may be slow. Okay, yeah, inventory's full. I don't care too much. I'm just gonna burrow in here a bit. I want to see if we find um, ores. Hopefully we'll find dark stone. We're not going to find much ore in the light stone. There's some dark stone. Uh, we can go thin here too. Uh, copper and clay. We don't need copper and clay. That looks like uh, copper iron. I'm color blind so that that might be the iron I can't tell that I don't think that's anything new I would have to clear my hot bar that's the only problem to be able to tell what that is for me my eyes Could be precarious if zombies come through here, right? Hmm. It does say we still need to be a little further away. Let's um let's get closer to where it says mountain. We have to do some climbing. Mountain 132. Again, we're looking for a place to set up our outpost where we can get special minerals. I don't know if we actually have to be right where it says mountain. But that's probably safe. Kind of wanted to tunnel into the side of the mountain. I thought that would kind of look... That would look kind of cool. Let's dig a little here and just see if there's anything that comes up soon. I don't think there's going to be. Yeah, I don't think so. We're there. There's our main colony way off in the distance. What about trying another tunnel here somewhere? Once I see one little deposit of gold or tin, we can kind of plant our flag and then start working on getting diggers to do this for us. But I just want to know we're going to be in an ore rich area. Where's our dark stone? I don't see it. Let's uh, put a stairway down, maybe. That looks like clay to me. Ores we're used to. Nothing special yet, just slower digging speed. All right, we have something new. We have something new. What is that? I have to clear my inventory. 
don't have access to the colony. I think we can do a banner. Let's do it. Let's do it and see what happens. Um, can I do it undefended? <laughs> I have a feeling once we place it, we're going to be just fine. Uh, how do we want to do this? We need to protect ourselves. There is a big... Is there a platform here? Is that just my eyes? Yeah, it's just my eyes. Bright stone. Hmm. Kind of like this is our way in. And we can... I think we can move the banner fairly easily. Uh, we can open that up. How do we want to do this? Yes. Say this is our floor. Floor level, right? We'll have some, maybe we'll have some crafting going on out here other than just mining. We're definitely going to have to have beds for workers and things. But let's call this the floor level. Right here where I'm standing, right? So we can build this out. And we'll dig down and have some mines. That looks like something new. I need to put somebody on that so I know what that is. Um, and if I can get the threat banner, if I can get the uh, colony banner down. So where do we want that? How are we going to defend the banner? Do we want that further in? Hmm. Need to think about that. Where would be the best place for the banner? Could this is all going to get chipped away? If I plunk it down right here, there's not a lot of room for guards and things, right? To fight off zombies coming up. I mean, I suppose we could end up with a wall here and take shots at them. Let's just do it and we'll move it. We can always put down another one if we need to. Uh, let's do it right here. Might be a horrible idea. Okay, start a new outpost. Boom. Okay, select the main colony. Boom. Uh, starting an outpost consumes an outpost banner from your inventory and stockpile. Your, let's do mountain. Great outpost. Okay, we're there. Now can I access inventory? I can. Awesome. And now that I can access inventory, let's just see what this is. I am going to hmm, count our levels here. If we wanted to do this with floors, and we said this is our base floor. We usually go down four, right? One, that's the floor. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, four. So then this becomes floor level where we could put beds and things or then one, two, three, four and a floor. Just chipping away a little bit of this thinking through how we're going to set up dormitories and things. We'll get diggers to do a lot of this work. Kind of waiting to see what happens at night too. Uh, then we do, that's a floor, then one, two, three, we can go deeper. So I got to chew this up. I want to see what that is. That's our tin, right? Tin. Yeah, that's our tin. I got to get out of here just in case zombies come through. Don't really know what to expect yet over here. Our threat rating, okay, it's showing zero. A zero and then 1,026. 1,026 for our colony. That just kicked up 100 this episode by unlocking the Iron Age. I think we're safe here to dig. We have tin. We need to find the gold. Dig, dig, dig a bit. Again, I think that's going to give us tin. Boink, yep, two. That, I think, is iron. And that's a floor, the one, two, three. We need to go down one more. One, 
two, three, four floor levels. So this is a floor level. Figure this area out a little bit, just so I know. Not worried about taking out some of this tin. I think, I hope, we'll find some that's at the right level where I can place a uh, miner. Maybe I should leave a block or two, um, even if it's not aesthetically where I want it. Like that block we can save and put a miner on it. But everywhere else, I'm hoping they, uh, I'll leave a couple. <laughs> I'll leave a couple. But I'm hoping we'll find them when the floor at the floor levels here that we're setting up. Once we dig this area out quite a bit, we still need to find gold. Tin is a help. All right. Yeah, and I think we're safe to do some digging here too. Tell you what, we should just wrap this episode here. I have to do some hand digging. Um. But man, we need to think about defenses, right? Before I start bringing colonists over here. How are we going to defend this? It'd be cool to kind of either build up and sh have um, basically arrow slits along here somewhere, just in integrated into the mountain. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you what I'm thinking. In fact, we could even use the stone if we wanted to keep it looking cool. Maybe you'd say this is where the exterior wall starts. And would they have to be up too high? I guess they would. Um, what about... Something like this uh, it would be you and you. And then guards up here. And guards, I guess, a few guards around. You know what I mean? Chip away at this wall and have them in here. But maybe we should craft, or I can get the stonemason. Let's uh, look at inventory real quick. I don't have many stone blocks in inventory. I have 224. But it might be kind of cool to use these as our building material over here and just, you know, keep it looking like we just carved a base or carved an outpost right out of the mountain. And then we could try to have zombies path up these stairs or something. And then we could dig down... Let's see, oh man, it's gonna be, it's gonna, we're gonna have to do some terraforming here to get this the way we want it. We'll be chewing away some things and adding some things, it looks like. In fact, yeah, it's gonna take some work. Yeah, but maybe we have them path up this stairs and, or maybe we could have them wiggle around <laughs> and then have guards kind of embedded in the hills here in these little arrow slots. This kind of thing. And maybe cover this up. Make it look like it's just carved right out of the mountain. That would look cool. I think that would look pretty cool. And then hopefully we'll have a shot at them coming up these stairs. I may have to actually push out the mountain. Hmm. Definitely need to get some stone blocks in inventory. I think we'll need our stonemason to do that. Oh man, this is a big project. We have a lot to do here. And we still have to find the gold. That's kind of the whole point of coming out here. We have tin. Need to find the gold. Might look at the wiki and see, or not the wiki. I don't think the wiki's great. But I might ask on the Discord if they'll give me an answer. Sometimes it's just the answer is, oh, dig and find out. So we may have to do some of that too. Anyway, let's wrap this episode here. We have our first little modest outpost. We have an idea of how we'll do the defenses. That banner, I think we'll probably need to move that. I just have a feeling that's not the best spot. And then we need to think through our defenses. Yeah, a little bit of progress. We cleared some stuff on the tech tree. We made a little bit of rope, bought some things. You can see our main colony way off in the distance. That looks pretty awesome. I'm glad we're not right next to it. It's going to make it a little tedious to go back and forth. 
Um, there is a, what they call a horizontal elevator, kind of like a train shuttle that you could set up. Might do that. Not sure. And then let's look at what else is in the immediate area over here. Heath, Marsh, that's all far away. Um, not a lot close by. Mammoth tree, a thousand. Mountain, we're there. A thousand away. So before we go to the mammoth tree and the marshes and the heaths, we may do that from the main base and find those resources. But we'll spend probably a few episodes over here establishing this outpost and its defenses. I still want to get those threat banners. Let's see, since we've been out here, did we get the magical jeweler's bench we wanted? Nope, I don't see it. So we got to solve that. Oh, is that it? There it is, Jeweler's Bench. Yeah, we'll have to place that in the main colony, too. That's going to allow us to draw the threat, most of the zombies, over at the main base. But in the top right, it's showing our threat level zero, so we have a little time ourselves to do some digging and planning over here. And before we bring in colonists, we're going to need a place for them to sleep. We need to find some better placement of these deposits of tin. But we'll get to that in the next few episodes. For now, this is Gladdercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series on colony survival. Oh man, is this game cool. We're finally expanding over here. We have a bunch of stuff to do over at the main base too, right? I think there's other crop types we haven't really delved into. I guess hemp we're supposed to get at the heath. I think you can steal soil from the heath and bring it back to the main colony. But we'll, we'll try and do outposts for the special resources. Uh, as much as we can, and then just use the threat banners to draw the enemies over there. So hopefully we don't have to have a huge number of guards at the outpost. We'll leave it there and we'll pick it up in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.